Hello everyone and welcome to another video in the Mastering Flask video course. In the previous section, we worked with Celery to program asynchronously. This is the start of section 10, which is titled, Testing Our App. In this section, we will look at what unit testing is and why it will be beneficial to your app. We will cover the basics of unit testing, then we will go over the various specialized methods of testing the different parts of our app. We will also explain the concept of code coverage at the end of this section. This video is titled, What is Unit Testing? In this video, we will answer the question, What is Unit Testing? We will also go through a hypothetical unit test, as well as write the first simple tests of our application. So, what does it mean to test software? Testing software is very simple. All it involves is running particular pieces of your program, like a simple method, a few classes or a whole module, and saying what you expect the results of that piece to be and comparing it to what the results from the piece of the program actually are. If the results are the same, the test passes. If the results are different, the test fails. This simple mechanism verifies that your code is functioning properly without any human error or misconceptions. Typically, these tests are run before the code is deployed to the line server in order to make sure broken code is never seen by your users. But in relation to software testing, what are unit tests? In testing, there are three main types of tests. Unit tests are tests that verify the correctness of individual pieces of code, such as functions. Integration testing, which tests the correctness of various units of programs working in tandem. And the last type of testing is system testing, which tests the correctness of the whole system at once, rather than individual pieces. We will be focusing on unit tests for this section, as integration and system tests rely heavily on your personal production environment and not on Flask. Let's go through a hypothetical example. If you had a function that calculated the average elements of a list, you would test if the function was functioning properly by giving it the list 1, 2, 3, and test if it gave back 2. Validity in Python is tested with the assert keyword. What assert does is run a Boolean test, and if it returns true, it does nothing. But if it returns false, it throws an error. Here are some examples of assert statements to test if our function is working correctly. Given a list of 1, 2, and 3, we expect 2. Given a list of 0, 50, and 100, we expect 50. And that's really all there is to it. All unit testing is, given some set of inputs, what do you expect the output to be? Now that we understand the mechanics of unit testing, we can start adding unit tests into our application. The first step is to create a new folder called Tests in the root of your project directory. The first test that we will write before getting into more advanced tests is if our application's create app function correctly initializes our app object with the correct configuration values. To do this, we will use the unit test library in Python's standard library, which will take care of running all of our tests as well as providing some helper functions. First, create two new files in the test directory called test-config and init.py. In the init.py file, import the create app function and create an app from devconfig. In the test underscore config.py, import the created app object. Tests are created with the unit test library by creating a class in the file that inherits from the unit test test case. This class name must also be prepended with the word test. Each test will be a method of this class and is differentiated from the other methods of the class by also prepending them with the word test. There is also the set up and tear down methods. Which are called by the unit test library before and after every test respectively. We will use these later in this section. So now we can start writing our first test. Create a class called testconfig that inherits from unit test test case. Next, we will need a method called testconfigloading, 
which will test if the create app function correctly loaded our dev config object. This method will have two asserts, one to test the debug option and one to test the SQL Alchemy database URI. Now we can run the test we have written. Go to the root of your code and run Python m unit test. This command uses the unit test library to automatically find any tests that you have written and runs them. As you can see from the output, I found one test and it completed successfully. Great, we are now at the end of this video. So far, we have learned what unit testing is, how to do it in Python, and we have written our first test for our application.